Hi there! TT team here and today we're going to continue with the family unit in the book. Okay? So, last video we were talking about family members and the number of people in your family. Okay? So today we're going to continue to talk about family but with the direction of uh, professions. So, if you look in your book, student book again, then, uh, let's see, okay, so, the vocabulary for the family unit is office worker, office, factory worker, factory, sales assistant, department store. Okay, so we have a short dialogue here, conversation. Let's quickly go over it. So, let's see, can you see? Look in your own books, please, because I don't really know if the camera is getting all the pictures. Okay, so picture number one. And takes the children to the clinic. Okay, and then... Uh, question what does your father do and the boy he answers he's an office worker at river town office and then alfie what about your mother and then he doesn't really say anything but he projects or he describes about she's a chef cook okay so then let's go to the next page here you have some family members father mother brother sister uncle and aunt and then we have teacher factory worker sales assistant office worker doctor and cook so you have the words here the professions and then you have the place of work so a teacher he or she they work at a school of course a factory worker he works at a factory a sales assistant he or she works at maybe a shopping mall or any kind of store. Then the office worker, he works in... What is this? Right, it's an office. Yes, the office worker works in an office. And then the doctor. Where do doctor works? Uh, where do doctors work? What is this? It's a hospital. But doctors can also work at clinics. Okay? And the cook. Usually she works at restaurants. Yes. So now, I want you to do some work. I know you cannot ask an answer with your friends. So I want you to write down three family members. And do not write sisters and brothers because... I do not think they have any work. I don't think they're old enough. So write your mother, your father, maybe your aunt or your uncle or your cousin. A person that's old enough to work. So you write the name and then what he or she is to you. If he's your father, your mother, your bar brother, if he's old enough, your aunt, your uncle, whatever, cousin. And then the job, what do they do, what is the job, and then where do they work, workplace, okay? All right, so you can ask your mother and father, so ask an answer with your mother and father, ask an answer, just to get some speaking practice, okay? 
And let's see if we have time now. Let's, uh, yeah, and also, if you want, you can write in your notebook and you can add more people. You, you don't only have to write three people. You can make this list longer. You can write ten people if you want. Actually, let's, let's write more than three. You can write five to ten people, between five and ten people. Okay? That is your homework. And then you can practice speaking, asking and answering with your parents. Okay? I will trust that you do that now. All right. That was it for this video. We will continue next video. Okay? Bye-bye.